Good morning, everybody. It is 742. Welcome back. <laughs> it's a great day for the 16th of April. Oh, we are only a day away from hearing those two familiar words over at Principal Park. You guys play ball. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nate Toit is joining us here. He is vice president and assistant general manager of the Iowa Cubs. And of course, everybody's favorite attendee of the Iowa Cubs <laughs> games, Cubby Bear, Cubby Bear is here as well. Hey as we are looking forward to a great 2015. And man, you want to talk about upgrades. You guys have just been going nonstop over there, haven't you? Yeah, we've had a busy, uh, we've had a busy 2015 already. We put a new playing surface in last October. Mm -hmm. um, and so the field right now, if you haven't been over there yet, looks great. We had an open house last Saturday from 10 to 2. We had about 2,500 fans come out and walk through oh. the ballpark and tour the, the facilities there and then uh, of course, the brand new uh, HD video board is uh, a big addition to the ballpark this year. Now, if you haven't seen the <clears> video <throat> board yet, Eric, if you go to the surface here, uh, we were out there just the other day doing some uh, recordings here. A week, from, a week from today, remember this, every 23rd of the month, we have something special going on. But here's something else that was pretty cool, which we didn't realize. Uh, the base paths are going to be a little different shade from what the, um, the, uh, the groundskeeper said, it's gonna be brown instead of more of a reddish color too. Yeah, they put a, they put a different kind of clay in there which makes it um, more of that brown color, but they're constantly working with that. Last year at this time, we were, uh, we were about two weeks into the season uh, for the home schedule and we had frost in the ground when we started the season last oh, year. No, so we've had right. a much better spring yeah. this year. And, and so, uh, you know, in addition to all the field and the video board and everything, the, the craft beer drinkers will be Pleasantly surprised to see that we have 28 craft beers on tap now at the stadium. Oh, uh, on tap? On tap, wow. up from uh, 10 last year. So wow. it's an Iowa craft beer area on the concourse, and uh, it's just all Iowa craft beer. It's nothing from outside the state, so it's uh, it's pretty impressive. Wonderful. Wow. Yeah, the field looked beautiful the other day. I, I think, when did the video board go in? Do you recall? Uh, yeah, we, we took the old one down in the beginning of March, and then uh, it actually only took about two days to put up the new one, and then we had about two weeks of training, and, and and uh, our video production team has been up there for the last couple of weeks just playing around. Uh, in fact, they've got the uh, PlayStation 4 hooked up to it and they've played, <laughs> Do they really? they've played MLB 15, the show <laughs> I on say, there I a few I times. I want to be invited and, to that party. Uh, we got fun. a lot of kids working there for us uh, that, that are enjoying that. But uh, we've had a lot of fun with it. I think that it's going to enhance the fan experience. It's one of those things that, you know, might not bring you down to the ballpark, but once you're there, uh, you're going to notice it yeah, and, uh, and enjoy the experience. So let's, let's talk about the people that, that play in the park and, and what the team's uh, looking forward to this year. Yeah, we're uh, we're excited about the team that we're getting. Uh, of course, the big talk of the town is uh, if Chris Bryant is going to make his way to Des Moines mm -hmm. tomorrow night or not, uh, that, you know, with the whole 12 day uh, deadline being uh, the, the, the point where he could go up to the major leagues uh, is tomorrow. Um, that clock started April 5th. Um, and we really don't know. That's all on Chicago. Chicago isn't going to show us uh, or tip their hand to us, and that's okay. Uh, we've right. we got a lot going on. The first home stand, um, you know, we're going to put uh, a good product on that field, regardless if Chris is here. And obviously, we'd love to have Chris. Right. Mm -hmm. um, being in a Cubs market, and uh, all the Cubs fans are excited to see what Chicago might be doing this year. Right. Um, they're doing uh, well. They're so two far. Game, they're two games over 500. They swept the red or they beat the Reds last night, five nothing. So. Uh, they're creating a lot of buzz, and that buzz trickles down to us, and uh, the ticket windows have been busy, the phones have been busy, so we're excited about the team that we're going to get. Now, when the Chicago Cubs do well, does that reflect on the Iowa Cubs? Do you get more people coming out to the games? Too? Absolutely. Yeah, there's no question. Um, and, you know, for the most part, obviously, we're we're in this for entertainment and for the family value of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but when the Cubs are, are front line on, in the media, uh, first place obviously helps, or just playing well helps. Um, but, uh, you know, fans want to come out and see uh, what these players are like uh, up close and, uh, you know, get a little glimpse of them before they go to Chicago because when they go, a lot of times they're not going to come back. Right. Unlike Wrigley Field, plenty of bathrooms, they're functioning, they're working. <laughs> so uh, far, no problems. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're ready to roll. Uh, yeah, they got uh, quite the renovation going over there uh, at Wrigley right now, but when it's all said and done, I don't know if you've seen the, the, the plans that they've drawn up or not. The but, renderings, yeah. Um, you know, Wrigley's special anyway, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, kind of modernizing the ballpark in and around the ballpark is uh, only going to enhance that experience. So I'm excited to see it when it's all done. Now, we're also pretty excited about the fact that we have a whole bunch of uh, Chicago Cub games right here on KCWI, too. That is, yeah, uh, so yeah that's great news. Yeah. Uh, and a lot fact, of people are excited about that, In too. fact, I think you just had the first one mm -hmm. uh, just yesterday, the day before, I think, mm -hmm. yesterday. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. That's great. Yeah, we're excited about that. 
Well, it's it's such a, a great sign of spring, you know, whenever things get going over there. It was so much fun to go over to the ballpark the other day and, and just be in it and see it. It's such, uh, it, it's one of those things that uh, I brag about to people that visit here. You know, you've got to go see it because it's such a great experience. It's a beautiful ballpark. It's not that expensive to go. I mean, it's uh, for the for the for the price. It's great entertainment value. Well, and that's you know that's the motto for you know Sam Burnaby. This is going to be his 32nd year now as general manager of the, mm -hmm. of the ball club, and then of course Michael Gartner being the majority owner of the team, local guy. Uh, you know, clean, safe, and fun is what they've preached over the years, and uh, keep it affordable. You know, our ballpark is probably of the 16 teams in our league. It's probably. Uh, the third oldest in our league, and you wouldn't know it uh, by, no. by looking at it. Mm -hmm. um, and we feel like we're a pillar of downtown, and the way downtown Des Moines has come along, especially in the last decade, is, is huge. And, uh, you know, we appreciate all the, the community support that we get. And uh, it's going to be a great summer. We're looking forward to it. And, and, and one thing that we have to make sure people know about, too, uh, one of the things that you guys really have upgraded, and I have to give you credit for this, over the past several years yeah. are the food selection yes. that you have in the corridors of Principal Park. And one of the things that if, you have, if you're representing the Chicago team, we're looking for Chicago food in the corridors. And while we were over there the other day, we took a picture of this. Check this out. If you're a real Chicago and you want some <laughs> Chicago stuff, they have a little Chicago stand set up there, Jackie. Oh, I always have a Chicago Italian dog. Italian beef go. sandwiches. It Man, those good. are hard to find. You're going to have them at the ball yard. That is perfect. It is, uh, it is fantastic. And then, uh, you know, of course, we're going to add a couple other things to the menu this year. We're going to do a little Chinese. Oh, really? Yeah, we're going to have some Chinese options oh, uh, wow. for the fans that come. We're going to have a, little, a few more gluten-free options for uh, the people. Uh, that that can't eat gluten and then uh, for the health uh, people out there we're even going to have some salad bowls and things like that so um, of that course we're not going to go away from what makes us popular the Chicago dogs and, oh, and you, the hot dogs and yep. the brats and all that kind of, of stuff course. But, of course um, yeah the food is uh, is absolutely outstanding it's tough to work down there every day <laughs> and see people walk by <laughs> with all these dogs. And your office is right there by 20, where all the food vendors are. 24 ounce beers going by <laughs> on, on those hot summer yeah. days. It's hard to sit now, there and Now, let you know about the deal we have going on next week. A week from today, it's going to be the 23rd. And so every 23rd yes. that the Iowa Cubs are in town, we have a $23 special, Jackie. That's right. It's going to be KCWI at the Iowa Cubs. So we will give you all the details as it approaches. But the first one coming up, uh, 23 bucks gets you two reserve grandstands tickets and two Iowa Cup caps so you can't go wrong with that but a lot and of I think I get to shoot up. the hot dog gun which is I, which I don't is, think I've done that before uh, life dream and yeah. Jackie's uh, gonna be singing and yeah, I'm going to try to throw the ball uh, like uh, there's a lot of pressure. <laughs> try, to a lot of pressure. try to bounce like it in athletes. front of home plate. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Struggle it's, with it's not that easy. People will feel like, oh, I'm going to go all the way out yeah. to the pitcher's mound, and I tell them that they can go in front if they want to, and it's almost like a slap in the face. Did you see them, Tom so. Brady the other, the other day bounce it to home plate at, at Fenway? Mm -hmm. uh, see, it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. It's not that easy, but of course, yes, the uh, KCWI night is next week, <clears> but the big night. For you guys, it's just tomorrow right on the corner. Tomorrow night, opening night, um, uh, 7 08 first pitch, fireworks after the game. Um, and then this weekend, of course, uh, the weather's supposed to be fantastic. Uh, I saw the forecast right before I walked in. It's going to be warm, and and uh, you know it's uh, it's going to be a special season. So I encourage fans to come down. Wonderful. Good. Good to see you, man. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you.